वेलकम टू दी एलेवेंथ पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर ट्रांसपोर्ट इन प्लांट्स टिल नाउ वी हैव अंडरस्टूड वेरियस थिंग्स रिगार्डिंग एब्सॉर्बन हाउ वॉटर इज बींग एब्सॉर्ब नाउ वी विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट हाउ दिस एब्सॉर्ब वॉटर इज बींग एवेपोरेटेड इन टू द एटमोस्फेयर दिस कम्स ऑन द ट्रांसपेरेशन सो लेट्स हैव अ लुक इन टू द टॉपिक transport in plants now we are going through the topic transpiration so let's begin with transpiration before starting with the transpiration let me tell you one fact that if uh, out of the large amount of water that is being absorbed by the plant by the roots of a plant only a fraction is being absorbed for the various metabolic activities and the rest will be evaporated into the atmosphere so about 95 to 98 percent of water absorbed by land plants evaporates into the atmosphere so if 100 ml of water is being absorbed by a plant then only 2 to 5 ml will be utilized and the rest 95 to 98 ml will evaporate into the atmosphere so uh, from this we can uh, easily make easily form the definition of transpiration so the loss of water in the form of vapor from the aerial parts of a plant is called transpiration in mesophytic plants the transpiration is maximum so just remember this point keep it in your mind now i'll explain you this process of transpiration with the help of a video this video will help you to understand in a simple and quick way about the transpiration this is a mesophyll cell it consists of long narrow hollow tubes containing no living material the xylem transports uh, water and soluble minerals from root to other parts of the plant and about only about 95% is being utilized and uh, the rest is being lost through stomata with the process known as transpiration on the lower surface of the leaf the number of stomata is more uh, if transpiration happens throughout the day then there will be a great loss of water this is controlled by the stomatal opening and closing of the gut cells during the uh, day time water enters into the gut cells along with the potassium ions this brings about a change in the shape of the gut cells and the stoma opens during the night the potassium ions and water what will happen to them you can see the stoma opened 